momen istimewa ini didokumentasikan oleh Plasma Production Video Shooting Profesional alamat depan SD Negeri 2 Sumber Hadi, Kecamatan Melinting, Kabupaten Lampung Timur. Listening section. In this section of the test, you will have a chance to show how well you understand spoken English. There are four parts to this section with special directions for each part. Part 1. Questions 1 to 4. Directions. In this part of the test, you will hear some dialogues and questions spoken in English. The dialogues and the questions will be spoken twice. They will not be printed in your test book, so you must listen carefully to understand what the speakers are saying. After you listen to the dialogue and the question about it, read the five possible answers and decide which one would be the best answer to the question you have just heard. Now listen to a sample question. You will hear. I highly appreciate you for helping me choose the right loan I need. My pleasure, sir. I hope you can use the money to buy your dream house. What is the topic of the conversation? A. Asking for help. B. Giving opinion. C. Giving direction. D. Expressing pleasure. E. Expressing gratitude. The best answer to the question, what is the topic of the conversation, is expressing gratitude. Therefore, you should answer E. Now let's begin with number one. Number one. Why are you so sad? My pet is lost. She has been missing for a whole day. You mean your kitty? Yes. What makes the woman sad? Number one. Why are you so sad? My pet is lost. She has been missing for a whole day. You mean your kitty? Yes. What makes the woman sad? Number two. Hi, Ira. Congratulations on your promotion. It's nice to know that you will be the new branch manager of this bank. When are you going to Samarinda? Rehan, what a good friend you are. Thank you very much for your support. I'm supposed to go to Samarinda before November 15 this year. Good luck then. Why did the man congratulate the woman? Number two. Hi, Ira. Congratulations on your promotion. It's nice to know that you will be the new branch manager of this bank. When are you going to Samarinda? Rehan, what a good friend you are. Thank you very much for your support. I'm supposed to go to Samarinda before November 15 this year. Good luck then. Why did the man congratulate the woman? Number three. Excuse me, is this seat taken? No, please sit down. By the way, what's the announcement about? Flight JK505 to Denpasar is delayed. What does the man ask the woman when he sees her? Number three. Excuse me, is this seat taken? No, please sit down. By the way, what's the announcement about? Flight JK-505 to Denpasar is delayed. 
What does the man ask the woman when he sees her? Number four. Where should we take a vacation to this year? Let's decide soon. Well, I'd like to go somewhere warm. How about the beach? Or we could rent a cabin by the lake. I think going to the lake must be better. Okay, dear. What have they decided? Number four. Where should we take a vacation to this year? Let's decide soon. Well, I'd like to go somewhere warm. How about the beach? Or we could rent a cabin by the lake. I think going to the lake must be better. Okay, dear. What have they decided? Part two, question five to seven, directions. In this part of the test, you will hear some incomplete dialogues spoken in English, followed by four responses, also spoken in English. The dialogues and the responses will be spoken twice. They will not be printed in your test book. So you must listen carefully to understand what the speakers are saying. You have to choose the best response to each question. Now listen to a sample question. I really made a mistake. What about? I have broken your pen. That pen? Oh no! What does the girl probably respond? A. I'm sorry to hear that. B. I really appreciate it. C. I do apologize. D. I love that pen. The best answer to the question, "What does the girl probably respond?" is, "I do apologize." Therefore, you should choose answer C. Number five. There will be an English speech delivered by a student during the flag ceremony next Monday. Really? Absolutely. What do you think? What is the best response to the man's question? A. I believe it can improve the student's English skills. B. I assume a flag ceremony is important. C. I like English speeches and raising flags. D. I think I can communicate in English. Number five. There will be an English speech delivered by a student during the flag ceremony next Monday. Really? Absolutely. What do you think? What is the best response to the man's question? A. I believe it can improve the student's English skills. B. I assume a flag ceremony is important. C. I like English speeches and raising flags. D. I think I can communicate in English. Number six. Where have you been? I haven't seen you for two days. I've been sick since last Sunday. I've got a terrible cold. What is the best response to the man? A. That's very kind of you. B. How lucky you are. C. I hope you will feel better soon. D. I'm very grateful to you. Number six. Where have you been? I haven't seen you for two days. I've been sick since last Sunday. I've got a terrible cold. What is the best response to the man? A. That's very kind of you. B. How lucky you are. C. I hope you will feel better soon. 
D. I'm very grateful to you. Number 7. The weather is so hot today. I'll get the mineral water for you. Glass or bottle? Bottle, please. Here you are. Oops, I can't open this gap. What is the best response to the woman's statement? A. Let's do it. B. May I use it? C. Would you take it? D. Let me do it for you. Number 7 The weather is so hot today. I'll get the mineral water for you. Glass or bottle? Bottle, please. Here you are. Oops, I can't open this gap. What is the best response to the woman's statement? A. Let's do it. B. May I use it? C. Would you take it? D. Let me do it for you. Part 3 Question 8 to 11 Directions in this part of the test, you will hear some monologues spoken in English. The monologues will be spoken twice. They will not be printed in your test book, so you must listen carefully to what the speaker is saying. After you listen to the monologue, look at the five pictures provided in your test book and decide which would be the most suitable one for the monologue you have just heard. Number 8. This place is one of the most visited attractions in London, as it is a source of fascination for many tourists. The palace is surrounded by parks on three sides, St. James Park, Green Park and Hyde Park. There are also 40 acres of gardens on the palace grounds, complete with a statuary, pool and fountain. Queen Elizabeth's private suites overlooks the Green Park, a lovely tree-lined preserve virtually overflowing with daffodils in the spring. Which picture goes with the monologue? Number 8 This place is one of the most visited attractions in London, as it is a source of fascination for many tourists. The palace is surrounded by parks on three sides, St. James Park, Green Park and Hyde Park. There are also 40 acres of gardens on the palace grounds, complete with a statuary, pool and fountain. Queen Elizabeth's private suites overlooks the Green Park, a lovely tree-lined preserve virtually overflowing with daffodils in the spring. Which picture goes with the monologue? Number 9 This funny gentleman is a multi-million dollar actor. His ears, however, you could probably spot from space. It's not all bad for him, though. His goofy saucer-shaped ears add a certain quality to his comedic performance. And sure, they're funny looking, but they're also cute. They're good enough to get the most powerful man to play a movie about his life. Who does the speaker describe? Number 9 This funny gentleman is a multi-million dollar actor. His ears, however, you could probably spot from space. It's not all bad for him, though. His goofy saucer-shaped ears add a certain quality to his comedic performance. And sure, they're funny looking, but they're also cute. They're good enough to get the most powerful man to play a movie about his life. Who does the speaker describe? Number 10 This electronic device 
is a small, light, low-power electricity usage that has less processing power than a bigger laptop, but is still suitable for word processing, running a web browser, and connecting wirelessly to the internet. It is referred to as small form computers. Such computers have been known by various names, including sub notebook, ultra portable, mini notebook, and ultra mobile PC. Typically, this device will have a slimmed down operating system, a smaller than usual keyboard, a smaller than usual screen, and very little storage space. Which picture goes with the monologue? Number 10. This electronic device is a small, light, low power electricity usage that has less processing power than a bigger laptop, but is still suitable for word processing, running a web browser, and connecting wirelessly to the internet. It is referred to as small form computers. Such computers have been known by various names, including sub notebook, ultra portable, mini notebook, an ultra mobile PC. Typically, this device will have a slimmed down operating system, a smaller than usual keyboard, a smaller than usual screen, and very little storage space. Which picture goes with the monologue? Number 11. The main body of this animal is bluish green in color. It is long and slender with a long face that has black and white on it. The tail can take up more than 40% of the overall body. It has a small bill that is very sharp at the end of it. The tail can be up to 5 feet in diameter and it can weigh up to 13 pounds. The tail is considered a treasured item when people find this animal lying around. It can have up to 200 strands, and from time to time, a few will fall out. Which picture matches with the description in the monologue? Number 11. The main body of this animal is bluish green in color. It is long and slender, with a long face that has black and white on it. The tail can take up more than 40% of the overall body. It has a small bill that is very sharp at the end of it. The tail can be up to 5 feet in diameter and it can weigh up to 13 pounds. The tail is considered a treasured item when people find this animal lying around. It can have up to 200 strands and from time to time a few will fall out. Which picture matches with the description in the monologue? Part 4. Question 12 to 15. Directions. In this part of the test, you will hear several monologues. Each monologue will be spoken twice. They will not be printed in your test book so you must listen carefully to understand what the speaker is saying. After you hear the monologue and the question about it, read the five possible answers and decide which one would be the best answer to the question you have just heard. Question 12 and 13 are based on the following monologue. Once upon a time, there was a kingdom named Umbulwaning. The king had a very beautiful daughter named Dewi Aru. She liked to swim and could spend hours swimming. One day, the people in the kingdom suffered a terrible illness. One night, the king had a dream. In his dream, he saw an old man who said that the illness could be healed by a flower in the Krindawahana jungle, and Dewi Arum was the only one who could get it. After a very difficult journey, the princess found the pond, but the king got angry with her for going on the journey and cursed her. You don't deserve to be the princess and live in the palace, 
You deserve to live here in the pond, said the king. The princess disappeared, and in her place a beautiful flower rose. The king regretted what he had said, but it was too late. He then brought the flower to the palace, and everybody got cured. Till today people call it the lotus. Number 12. What did the Princess Dewi Arum find in the jungle? Number 13. What was the cure for the illness? Question 12 and 13 are based on the following monologue. Once upon a time, there was a kingdom named Umbulwuning. The king had a very beautiful daughter named Dewi Arum. She liked to swim and could spend hours swimming. One day, the people in the kingdom suffered a terrible illness. One night, the king had a dream. In his dream, he saw an old man who said that the illness could be healed by a flower in the Krindawahana jungle, and Dewi Arum was the only one who could get it. After a very difficult journey, the princess found the pond, but the king got angry with her for going on the journey and cursed her. You don't deserve to be the princess and live in the palace. You deserve to live here in the pond, said the king. The princess disappeared, and in her place a beautiful flower rose. The king regretted what he had said, but it was too late. He then brought the flower to the palace, and everybody got cured. Till today people call it the lotus. Number 12. What did the Princess Dewi Arum find in the jungle? Number 13. What was the cure for the illness? Question 14 and 15 are based on the following monologue. After several days of increased activity, the National Disaster Mitigation Agency, BNPB, has announced that North Sulawesi's Mount Lokon erupted at 10.20 a.m. on Tuesday. The agency declared areas within a 2.5-kilometer radius from the mountain's peak dangerous and urged nearby residents to stay alert. There are no residential areas within that zone. There might be other eruptions. We call on the residents to stay calm, agency spokesman Sutopo Purvo Nugroho said in a statement sent to the City Post. The agency said that the residents living outside the zone did not need to evacuate yet. Number 14. What is the monologue about? Number 15. For whom is the evacuation necessary? Question 14 and 15 are based on the following monologue. After several days of increased activity, the National Disaster Mitigation Agency, BNPB, has announced that North Sulawesi's Mount Lokon erupted at 10.20 a.m. on Tuesday. The agency declared areas within a 2.5-kilometer radius from the mountain's peak dangerous and urged nearby residents to stay alert. There are no residential areas within that zone. There might be other eruptions. We call on the residents to stay calm, agency spokesman Sutopo Purvo Nugroho said in a statement sent to the City Post. The agency said that the residents living outside the zone did not need to evacuate yet. Number 14. What is the monologue about? Number 15. For whom is the evacuation necessary? This is the end of the listening section. Mm -hmm.
Momen istimewa ini didokumentasikan oleh Plasma Production Video Shooting Profesional Alamat depan SD Negeri 2 Sumberhadi, Kecamatan Melinting, Kabupaten Lampung Timur